Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about things I would like to see in Dying Light The Beast. But first things first, let's check out the outfit. I really like the shoes. Like they fit so perfectly with the jacket. This is the outfit I'm gonna use from now on. I hope you like it too. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Numero uno. So the first thing I would love to see in Dying Light The Beast is improved flashlight. And they said that they improved the lighting and overall quality of it. But I'm still skeptical, mainly because it's on the same engine as Dying Light 2 and if they couldn't pull it off in here, then why could they pull it off in Dying Light The Beast? And you know what, from now on I'm just gonna refer to it as The Beast because like... <laughs> to not... <laughs> To not sound like an advertisement or something. But yeah, first thing is improved flashlight. Numero dos. And the second thing is actually a big one, which is highly customizable car. I've been playing a lot of the long drive lately. And I just gotta say, with the mod you, that lets you attach everything anywhere, <laughs> it's seriously the name of the mod, the game got another spirit for me. It's so cool to explore there. And once you get into one of the points of interest, you can actually get something from there to attach to your car. And with that, each playthrough is actually unique. And they did that in Dying Light 1, to some extent of course with the buggy, where everyone actually had different builds to it. But what I would love to see is them turning it up a notch, a little bit maybe, or maybe even further, so each playthrough is actually unique there too. Timon said in the interview that they actually made buildings like unique and you have to climb to each one and it would be nice addition to actually have certain parts for your car just so each building feels even more unique. Maybe you don't actually have to have choices that change the story but actually have to have unique playthrough where each car will be different because you have some different ideas. So for me personally, this would be a big step up, especially since the choices don't work for Techland. And having choices like this, where it affects your gameplay rather than story, would be the perfect choice in my opinion. So please Techland, at least make it somewhat customizable and please add first person, don't focus on third. I know that it's harder to drive in first person, but who cares, it's about fun in games. Numero tres. The third thing is improved weather and they also said in the interview that there will be improved skyboxes and shit but honestly I just want finally like dynamic weather like please they did it in GTA 5 like 10 fucking years ago. You, you can do it Techland I believe in you. But tying to that I would also like to see new weather. And since Techland actually says that they improved the engine overall, I really hope they improved it in the areas that was, it was lacking. But yeah, that's the third point. Honorable mention. The next one is roll height. And I actually think, since, you know, it's on the same engine as Dying Light, it actually can be done because I did it with my own game right here. I'm gonna show you. Let's just jump here. Right? And look at that. Like, I changed it myself, so I think, I really think that Techland can just go like into params in Data Zero pack. I showed you in previous videos, you can look at them up on my YouTube, or I will actually like pin them up there or something. But as I said, it's literally a matter of two minutes to change it and. I really hope actually Techland makes it because it, it just makes the game more realistic and it makes it like more tactical. And I know some people actually love the rolling animation and they love to roll. So I think it would be a good change or at least leave it in there so we can change it whenever we want. The next thing that is still related to parkour is slight deceleration, which is like great feature honestly in parkour games. and. I would actually hope that they add this feature because I'm using a mod so it's not like perfect as you can see here but I would actually love to see that where you actually have to 
like sprint so your slide is longer and adding the tactical use to it and especially since it decelerates you actually have to stop your sliding rather than just slide endlessly and <laughs> turn yourself around which is like totally unrealistic and the third thing is actually faster zip lines where this is modded and the zip lines aren't that fast and i know it's like not everyone might actually like it but i personally do and you know it's a list of things i would love to see in the game so these like small changes actually add to overall experience so if techland actually decides to do something like it like please oh and this is like a small thing but you could also add it where you can do a far jump just by jumping which is hella cool and last thing in this category is slope slide because we all know how slow it actually is but with mods you can actually fix it where it's actually fast but it's kind of buggy as you can see but it will be a great addition where you actually have this like sense of speed and urgency while sliding but yeah there are like more things i would love to see in parkour that are like you know more vault animations basically just new parkour moves but let's just move to another point which is plain and simple Numero cuatro. just add more finishers from behind as well as from the front and also make throwing knife animation actually like more fluid and actually in terms of throwing knife make us actually switch to the knives that we are using like you can use the simple knife or you can use the knife that has like electric effects and when you throw this electric knife everyone around you just gets electrified that would be a great addition where you actually have to change your loadout depending on the situation but you can't just equip a fire knife and go into stealth mode right so you would actually have to be careful about it but as well when you go loud it would be actually a great tool to use for crowd control as well as allowing us to actually throw knife while doing finishes from front or maybe just throw your weapon while doing finishes from front this would add a nice balance to things and also make the gameplay much more interesting because despite the issues that i mentioned in my previous video so go check it out fighting actually like is okay it just needs certain overhauls and it just needs certain upgrades for it to actually be much better and the next thing in this fighting category is actually wall kick which is like the worst actually the worst thing in dying light 2 or as you can see when you perform it like it just doesn't connect well and it just doesn't feel right you can also do it while doing parkour which is like Cool, because it has shorter range than normal jump it just adds a certain skill ceiling but honestly like the animation could be without this slow motion where it actually breaks the flow in like a weird way that i can't actually like explain but like remove the slow motion please like it's it's useless Numero cinco. and lastly like graphical fidelity where Honestly, I don't know if you have noticed, but majority, not like every single, but majority of the textures are actually like, as you can see here, mirrored. Once you actually see it, you just can't unsee it. But seriously, I don't know why is that the case here. Like, they couldn't just afford normal textures or something. I mean... When you run around the city, you don't focus on things like this. And it was the same case in Dying Light 1. So, you know, I think it's like Techland style to make textures. But honestly, like some of them, when they are mirrored, they actually look worse than be better. And it's mostly visible on cars. Like here, you can see it. What I would like to see in the Beasts, especially since it's like upgraded engine, right? They upgraded the fidelity and everything, right? So I don't want them to change like every single texture, don't worry. But I just want to see like different cars, like with different textures where each one, would, maybe not each one, let's, let's be real. But majority of cars will actually look different. And last thing I would love to see 
is actually upgraded UV lights. I wish Techland could make them like more colorful and like adding more of this like purple hue to them. And especially I would love to see like a uh, reworked UV bars where you could actually hold it and activate it with like, I don't know, X or whatever the button. And you could actually hold it in your hand and walk around with it. Because as I hold it, it doesn't even give like a light or something, as you can see. And zombies are not afraid of it, I just have to throw it. So holding UV bars would be actually a great addition to overall gameplay experience. But yeah, that will be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see in the beasts, especially. It's interesting because Techland usually like wants us to give feedback, but at the same time they want to release the game they want to create. As Timon said in like before Dying Light 2 released and <laughs> guess how that went for them. <laughs> but what if they could actually get feedback from players about what they want to see and it's the same concept as with the ideas on Techland GG where people would actually like give out ideas and Techland would appro approve it and actually add to the game. Because in my personal opinion like they don't have to listen to feedback after the game is released. They could listen to feedback about what players want to see and focus on this. So they deliver actually like a game that players want rather than a game they wanted to create. I, I know that the creativity doesn't work like that and I know that they would love to create the game that they want but as I said like look how that went for them. So to actually revive a bit of hope in Techland, I think they should actually listen to feedback before the game is released. And on honestly, adding stuff that I mentioned in this video, other than, you know, car customization, it it's actually pretty much easy to do. It's just some sliding some sliders and changing some values and that's actually it. Like majority of this parkour stuff can actually be fixed in like 10 minutes. And hell, it, it might actually be upgraded in like one hour. And they actually proved that they can do finishers. They actually proved that they can change gameplay to some extent. <laughs> with adding guns to a game that is about not having guns. But I believe Techland actually is in capacity to make something better than Dying Light 2. And I hope that I'm not wrong about it. And lastly, fix the gritty. Fix the gritty for Dying Light 2, as well as add gritty filter to Dying Light the Beast. Just so we have this like ascent of E3 2019 in there. Because you know, we still remember this version of the game. We still yearn for this version of the game. And with the promotional materials, they actually showed us like, hey, the Beast might actually be the sequel we were looking for. So please, Techland, just for the last time, fix the gritty and add the gritty. But yeah, that will be it for this video. I hope you really liked it and see you in the next one.